Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. So we are only two months out from the defamation lawsuit filed by Dominion Voting Systems against Fox. Um, and they were in court last week. They were hashing out some of the discovery items that Fox hasn't provided. Still, the missing items apparently have to do with evidence that includes board meeting minutes from Fox, also searches that were performed on personal computer drives. And this isn't the first time that Dominion's legal team has raised this issue. They actually complained to the judge about this in both July of 2022 and then again in January of 2023. And in court last week, Dominion attorney Justin Nelson told the judge, quote, we have not gotten anything. We pointed out categories of missing documents for both Fox News and Fox Corp that are still missing. And we are not talking about a document slipping through. We are talking about categories of documents. He also told the judge that Fox's legal team was supposed to, quote, ask the hard questions about missing documents so that we didn't have to do it and engage in further discovery practice. But he said, quote, that just hasn't happened. And I understand why, because they can't do it. So he's implying that they don't have the documents. They can't come up with what they've been asked to provide to prove their allegations, because it doesn't exist. Now, of course, Fox's attorney tried to both sides the issue and deflect. Um, he tried to say, oh, we're, we're all having issues with discovery. We're not getting things either. So we'll see what they come up with. I just really can't wait to report on this trial and watch Fox's attorneys choke. You know, they're going to be trying to prove without evidence that their hosts and their guests were being truthful and that they had no idea that this wasn't a lie, that the, you know, the whole election fraud fairy tale was not truthful, that it, that it wasn't the facts. How would we have known? I mean, 60 plus court cases, all rejected by the, by the judges, laughed out of court, investigations by the attorney general that Trump appointed, the one who lied for him in regard to the Mueller report. He this he said, issued a statement to the press that no, there's no evidence of election fraud. They were told by Dominion. They were told by Smartmatic. They were sent letters, cease and desist letters. Again and again and again, they were told that what was being said on their airwaves was a lie. And they chose to ignore that. So that shows the malice. That shows the intent. You know, if you say something that's not true and you really did believe that it was, that's not malicious. That's a mistake. And nobody's going to take you to court over that. Or if they do, they're going to lose. But if you're saying something that you know to be false and you know that it's going to harm that person and you continue to do it, yeah, that's called defamation. So we'll see. I will let you guys know when I hear more. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you possibly can. Become a monthly supporter. It truly helps to keep the show going. Take care, you guys. I'll talk with you soon. <laughs>